I really don't want to do this video. Uh, I know I'm speaking to a limited audience. I know I don't have very many followers. This is going up on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, so, and I'm kind of, I don't have a huge audience on both. So I'm talking to a very narrow, specific set of people here. Um, but this is a rather difficult thing for me to do here. Um, you know, if you followed me, some of you already know what's going on. Uh, if, and if you followed my videos back um, uh, last summer, we had a bed bug infestation. If you know anything about bed bugs, they are um, life halting and life upheaving, and it's it's a horrible situation. Needless to say, they're back again. Um, this is not an uncommon thing when you get them and you you go through the treatment process. Uh, they can they can come back. Uh, that's just an unfortunate reality of, of the thing. So you, you apparently are supposed to stay on top of them monthly. Um, so after last year, I had made a lot of changes to, to the apartment and I've converted the living room into my studio, which you're seeing a portion of back here. And uh, They've decided to go with the heat treatment, uh, which means all of this has to come down again. Everything I've just built up in here and reconstructed practically in this living room all has to come down. Um, and I believe actually unnecessarily so because I don't believe the situation is bad enough to warrant a heat treatment and I don't think heat treatments actually do the trick 100%. Anyways, it's not up to me. Apparently this is up to the building owner. Uh, I have certain thoughts about that. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, needless to say, I have to... Uh, this is going to require a lot of work. I can't do anything. I'm not working on any projects now. I'm not... I can't do a single thing. Uh, I can't even focus on anything at the moment, even just to try and do a bit of sketching. I can't... I can't think straight right now. Um, I'm still actually shaking from this. I just found out last night they've decided to go with the heat treatment, which is just going to just disrupt it. It's, it's basically moving. You have to box everything and take it out of here. Sorry, I need a moment here and there to recollect my thoughts. Um, I'm going to have to be taking time off work now in order to do this properly. Uh, I can't, I can't be doing any sort of commissions, which I, I kind of wasn't anyways for a little while I was planning if you went back about a video or so I was actually had huge plans for all this I, I was uh, all ready to take on kind of the the 100s challenge I was going to be working on a comic uh, I have a whole bunch of things all lined up ready to go and if this comes back together um, and, and if I'm in one piece I'll try and still continue but I've said it many times that every time I start to make plans something comes along it just runs everything to a dead halt and it's not something you can just sort of plow through. It's something that you have to stop your life and, and readjust everything. And it's constantly happening. Just It, it's, it just seems to haunt me. <laughs> not only that, but this is also going to cost me an excessive amount of money. This is just draining my bank account. And I have to take time off work, which means I don't get paid for that. Um, I was suggested the idea of a, a GoFundMe to kind of help out a little bit with this and I was really kind of against the idea because I I don't like just asking for money. I really don't. Unless I can kind of offer something in return, I really don't like doing that. Um, I may still set one up if some people feel they want to help me out. Um, I'd be eternally grateful. But one thing I am going to do is I'm, I, I went through all of my digital art that I've done over the last three or four years. Uh, and I dug out a whole bunch of pieces. I started picking out some of my best pieces and I started picking out some of my, even my not so great pieces. You'd be surprised. Sometimes the not so great pieces, some people seem to really like. And I decided I'm gonna make prints. Um, I'll make some five by sevens and eight by tens. I had to go through and see what would work best for these. I, I've, I've kind of gone through and uh, set them up in both formats and some of them and I'm going to try and sell them I'm just not sure where yet I wasn't sure whether to go through Etsy or Gumroad set up my own website which is sort of another expense and a time consuming thing uh, so I'm still kind of looking into that uh, but I will be um, post maybe at the end of this video I'll, I'll or through the course of it I'll show some pieces that I've got that I might might be selling 
I know a lot of people are probably thinking, why don't you uh, sell some shirts like uh, um, print on demand or, or you know, t-shirts or, uh, t -shirts or mugs or something, right? Go go through like Redbubble or, or Sparkle or wh whatever these places are, Shopify or Printify. I did have a Printify, I might still have that account. And yeah, that's, that's certainly a possibility. The only issue with those that I, I have right now, uh, especially living in Canada here, um, those items are particularly expensive for a t-shirt just to have a piece of my work on it or a mug to have a piece of my art on it. Who's going to pay $30 for a mug? Who's going to pay $30 for just a simple t-shirt? And that the, sometimes these images actually end up wearing off in the wash. So I was kind of, I'm really kind of hesitant on that. But if people really want it, I can maybe set something up. Sometimes those are really quick to set up. I still have a Redbubble account and that kind of thing. So I can put them up there and I'll put up links. They're just, um, they're just really expensive. And, um, so I am going to definitely go the route of prints. Um, again, being in Canada, the shipping is really expensive. So I feel like, yeah, if I want to charge $10 a print, sometimes to ship it to the U.S., a simple stupid print is like an additional $15 just to send it there. And then there's also the packages and the supplies and that kind of thing. So, but I'm, I've got to figure something out. I am going to do that uh, anyways. And... Um, so yeah, sorry again, taking a moment to um, recollect my thoughts through all this. This has been really hard. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not expecting a whole lot. I'm not expecting, you know, to everything be re recouped through doing this. Uh, but I need a little bit helps. You know, I, I've, uh, so far the total of all this is going to be in excess of like $1,200. I have to get a new bed. I have to get the landlord is thankfully covering the cost of of getting the the work done in here which is great but still the cost to me um just for all the little things and the fact that i'm also not doing anything i'm not producing any work that is also um an additional that, that you take a hit in that so uh, you know I, I know right now in this economy not everybody can afford something and i don't i don't expect anybody to i'm not I don't feel obligated but um anything you can do uh, a print anything i might even set up um what's it called buy me a coffee um i might even look into that which is you know if you want to throw just even a couple of dollars here and there i it, it would be really appreciated um i was also looking at the possibility of patreon if some people want like art lessons once this is done and i have an office back again i can i can start making little little art lessons i don't know just, I'm just brainstorming still. <laughs> uh, so uh, what I might do is uh, I'll put a link to my Instagram and on Instagram, I'll, I'll post the pieces that I'm, I'm going to be selling. Um, hopefully it'll work. Sometimes posting the five by sevens because of the length, they don't, they don't show up properly. And it's, uh, I don't know, Instagrams. There's one downside to Instagram is you can't fit the ratio properly. Anyhow, um, yeah, so that's, this is the video I keep talking about that I wanted to make, and it's, it's taken me a few times to do this. I'm going to document this whole thing as well. Um, yeah, I, could, I don't care. Uh, you know, when they come in here, I'm going to show the whole process of this and, and what's going on. When they come in here, I'll show you, the, I'll show the equipment, what happens. I did a little bit last time, and that's on TikTok. If, if you, you can go have a look at my stupid TikTok account. It's useless. I don't know why I have that thing. Uh, there's not really much in the way of my artwork up there. It's just me doing some stupid little things now and again. But when I was getting kind of stressed out, I was documenting the whole thing with the bed bugs last, last uh, July. So it's, it's still up there. If you want to have a look, we're kind of going through the same thing again. Almost, maybe not. It'll be a little bit different this time, but same idea. That's it. Um, I'll, I'll be posting progress. So, uh, if you've sat through all this, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and I'll, I'll be posting something soon to announce where and how I'm actually going to be putting, putting these items up, uh, up for sale. So, all right, until next time.
And bonus footage, here's where the bed was. <laughs> um, we think the little buggers are come through the, um, the, the radiator on the floor. They're going through the wall because they're in the radiators in the unit above us, which is empty. But yeah, this is, this is where the bed was. A little tour of my apartment. Here's the back of the cupboards. And, oh, look at this. This is what I've been sleeping on. This is an air mattress. Because, uh, yeah, it's a big one too. This is like almost a queen sized air mattress. But, um, yeah, so all of this, all of the, the stuff, like the shelves can stay up. I think the desk can stay here. All of this stuff on it has to all be packed away. All of this has to go. Um, I have to pack it away and put it away um, just downstairs somewhere while they go through the process of, of um, heating the apartment. They do it for like four hours. They bring in these big machines that heat the whole apartment up to something like 140 degrees Celsius? No, Fahrenheit, sorry. <laughs> the place would go up in flames. Um, yeah, good times. So anyways, when that's going to be a week today that happens. I'll, uh, as I said, I'll document the process. They'll love that.